So all right, we're getting into this trade talk. Go, go ahead, uh, my guy. So, did, do you think KD like started off for people going to super teams like him, even in the NFL? I would say that I don't like the question because it seems like people are inferring that it's bad for a professional player to go to whatever team that he wants, that somehow he is diminishing his skills or something if he goes to this team that he wants. Uh, because I would say this, if you was a professional player, wouldn't you want to be able to go to wherever you want? Because it was a time where free agency did not exist. So if free agency exists, why can't I go – to whatever team I want to go to. It it really depends. Sorry. So I right, get, go ahead. I, I want to hear your comments. To a super team, but also, if you can trade it to a super team and you're trying to get a pay cut, that's a little bit different. I understand you want to go to a super team and get a Super Bowl, but you're still getting that bad. But if you're going just to get um the championship and not and getting a pay cut, that's kind of crazy to me. Okay. Okay. Because I, I still don't. I don't like this kind of talk because we're siding with billionaires. Okay, yeah, they are. <laughs> like the, the players is trying to get as much as they want. And then people say that, hey, if you got a championship, we're gonna look at you, you know, differently than people who don't have championships, especially when you get them when you're either in your prime or close to your prime. Uh and, and what sparked this conversation was what sparked this conversation was Saquon Barkley being traded to the, uh, to the, to the rival Philadelphia Eagles. And Tiki Barber, former running back for the New York Giants, says he's dead, quote, he's dead to us now. He's dead to us. You're dead to us. Saquon, good luck. You're dead to me. That's the end of the quote. All of that was quotes. Look how many times he said dead to us. That's one, two, three, four times. Former New York Giants running back, turn broadcaster, Tiki Barber, says Saquon is dead to him. That many times for a professional athlete to just switch teams, you killed him off, Tiki, really? Like, what do you think about this? Yeah, I, I think that was kind of a bull. Even though um, I, I understand the half of what he was saying. Uh-huh. Like, if you don't switch to the rivals, you're kind of... Like, we're going to probably play harder and against you, and you're kind of not dead to us, but we don't care about you as, like, anymore for real. That's right. why I think he was trying to get his point across. But also understand, because St. Barker, he said, aha, you're the prime example of loyalty. So I really don't know about him. So did he ever get traded? Tiki he- Barber? Yeah. You know what? I don't know the history of his trades, but I would probably <laughs> say no, but I'm not sure. You know what? We could just look it up. And see if he was ever traded. Um, but but even even so, I, I just don't like this idea that professional athletes or any person cannot go where they want to go. Oh, trade. Here we go. We'll see right here. Um, nah, he's all played for the New York Giants. Um, and and how we can't forget that the majority of the players are not like a Tiki Barber. Yeah. Majority of the players are going to go to different teams because they're trying to make it. And also, back then, most people didn't stay with the same team. But it's kind of a newer time because um, think of like, even I'm, I know I'm going to NBA, but say like Jordan, stuff like that. They didn't really get traded or if you wanted to get traded to the very, very end of his career, like because he went to the Wizards that one final year. Right. So it was kind of a different time back then where they wanted to stay at one team and correct that one team. It, but but remember, it wasn't it wasn't that they just wanted to stay there, that the free agency things were different. So it wasn't that these players... These players didn't want to stay. Not the majority of them. The, the free they, they agency were, rules wasn't how they are today where you can get out of there if you want to think about it if a team wanted to keep you they could abuse you do all kind of things to you uh contractually but you want to leave but you can't um do you do you think he, he, if if the rules were right now and like the rules right now were back then so do you think the, if the rules were 
Um, right now, back then, do you think USA was the same team? Even though right now Saquon did get traded, I mean, they didn't want to go to a third that's the Eagles. Say, what's the question? Say the question again. Tiki Barber, right? Just take him for example. Yeah. If the rules are like right now, right? Oh, do I think he would have gotten traded? Like, you no know, doubt. How many years he played? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten years as a running back today is way different than how running backs were viewed and treated ten years ago. Yeah, running back used to be the cause for that thing here. Exactly. But now they um now they're kind of like disposable. The Q, yeah, like the QB could play quarterback some of them. <laughs> I mean running back. Like they say, yeah. So I don't think they're not as prized anymore. I think they're not. Good. They're not. They're they're being used differently. They're being used with other running backs in tandem. So it's not just one running back carrying the whole load. Um, and, and that way teams don't have to pay him, which is why Saquon is getting yeah. traded. It's not like he's not valuable. Yeah, because when say that again. Go back to the one thing. What? The one where that the text and stuff. Oh, okay. You want to see that again? We're going to pull that back up. Here we go. Cause look, because he said, I got the deal I wanted. I want to succeed and get more money, which the team wasn't giving me before. See? So he was saying he was taking a pay cut with the Giants, so now he got the money he wanted what to do with the fella that's with people. See? That proves my point. Without free agency, he can't do that. He would have been stuck there and would have had to take whatever deal the Giants was going to give him. Because they give him like... Cause they give him like, what's his contract now? Maybe like two million a season. Let's see. We can look it up. You talking about Saquon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go, right there. The first thing that comes up. Let's see. I got scored. Three year contract. Let me keep scrolling and see if they say. No, they don't but say. Just, just taking the count. Say you got three million a season, right? Uh huh. Could they just give him like, like right now? He can get traded, but back then, could they give him just like five hundred k and don't care about him? Could they just do that? Say that one more time. Like, I know they could keep him with any. Well, it, can they keep him with any on, amount of money? No, not any amount. So, what's so they they got like levels to it. Like you know, you got the rookie contracts. You got the different contracts for veterans. Oh yeah. I know. Um, yeah, it's, it depends on whatever slot um, you find yourself in. Just like if you were drafted in the first round, you're going to be slotted to get more money than somebody that came in in the second round or the third round. Does that, does that make sense? Well, you don't see me in that. Let's see. Here we go. It says the contract details are in for Saquon Barkley's huge deal with the Eagles. While Barkley has a high average annual value at 15.8 over three-year contract. So it's 26. Go ahead. You want to read that? Um, and this is from Jeff McClain. He said 26 fully guaranteed. So as soon as he signs, he's getting 26. I mean, not as soon as he signs, but. That's how much is yeah, over the time. Over the time, the three years, he's going to get 26 fully guaranteed. This is what he's going to get off the top. The signing 11 mil, off that's the top. crazy. Yeah. And 1.4 million base salary. Yep, that's 250K per game, y'all. So this, that's by 18, that is. Yep. 11, what's, I don't know. That's 11 million. I don't know what that stands for either. It says 11 mil BSFG. I'm not familiar with that. 12 million BS. One point. I, I don't oh, that's, know what that means. That's what they get in from each year, I bet. 11 million base salary, maybe? Yeah, base salary. Oh, and fully guaranteed. Fully guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm going to Okay, so he's getting 11 million base salary, fully guaranteed in 2025. 12 million base salary in 2026. That's nice. And so, I know we're going on a fully different route. Do you think most teams right now are trying to... What was you saying now? So, do you think teams right now are trying to get a Super Bowl? Because you can see with the Ravens, they just acquired the best running back currently, I bet. 
But maybe besides, it can be a debatable with him and Saquon. To me, that signals to, um, what's his name, the quarterback? I can't guess. I'm having a brain fart. The quarterback, Lamar, that, hey, I don't have to run as much now. Because if you got Derrick Henry. I, I was saying when I was talking to him alone, the read option will be the best thing. They have a the best running running back, I mean quarterback right now, and one of the best running backs. So if you give it to Lamar, Man. he's getting there gone. Read option and play action. Oh, play, Think yeah. about how them uh, linebackers are going to have to come up when he sticks that ball out, either for – him to tuck it, give it to Derrick Henry, like that's a lot to think about. Cause what's coming? I feel like they, I know that's that's one of my favorite teams right now, top three. The Ravens. Um, because um, what's called it? I think they're going all the way this year. I know last year they got bumped to the. Who they get bumped by? Yep, they got bumped by the Chiefs. Chiefs, yeah. In the NSA championship. Whoa, are you saying now you think that the Ravens will overtake the Chiefs this year? Wait, are you saying that today? Yeah, I'm saying Before that. Before the season, my man's going with right the Ravens. Time. All right. And I'm going to remind if they win. <laughs> if they win. <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's our NFL talk for today, man. You're going to see more from this. What are we going to call this set with this part of the show, man? You got something off the top? Segment with Joseph. Segment with Joseph. Here we go.